ready to head for the charter. <laughs> Gentlemen, you are our first clients for the, our company. We are flying this year on a hunting expedition, and uh, we, it's a pleasure for us. Considering the challenges the world is going through with the COVID 19. The COVID. That's just like at home, people. Oh, you can't go, you can't go. What happens if you get over there and there's an outbreak? You can't get home. I said, hey, shit happens. Welcome. Thank you. Good. How's the flight good? Real good. Smooth, short. Okay. Welcome uh, to Tunga. This is our first hunting trip uh, in Tanz uh, for our company Tanzania Air Services. And uh, we're in Utunga with our first clown, Mr. Uh, Morris. And we're happy he came uh, through with us in this COVID-19 era. And uh, we're proving beyond doubt that safety is of paramount importance. And you can do anything regardless of the challenge that you face. Keep hunting and thank you, African Sun. Yeah, welcome to Tanzania. Welcome to Tonga. Karibu sana, Karibu Tanzania. Sana. <laughs> Be clear down on the end. <laughs> Thank you. I know you're I think My reputation precedes <laughs> me. <laughs> that is it. Uh, my name is Paul Hosley. Uh, I'm a professional hunter here in Tanzania. Uh, we are in Selu Game Reserve in the area LR3. Uh, Greg, welcome. Uh, nice to meet you. You have arrived today, I believe. Yes. And uh, looking forward for a nice hunt in this area. And we have our team here. This is our trekker, Loma, and this is our driver, Musa. Musa. And this is Johanna, also the trekker. And also we have a game scout. Yes. Yeah, Cosmos. 
So you're most welcome. Looks like a good crew, and when I get all the way over jet lag, things will be good. Yeah. But just shot the guns, and they were on, and uh, looking forward to a good hunt. It's a beautiful area, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, we're expecting also for Jaco to be here in, in four days' time. So yeah, yeah. we'll have another extra guy in, in our team. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Morning. This is our first morning in uh, camp up here uh, in Tanzania at the Salu. And it's a calm, really nice, cool morning. You can already feel the humidity in it though, so we'll see. But it's really kind of exploring this morning, see what we can see and quite a few things on the menu. and. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens this morning. I haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, I saw a big pile of buffalo dung there and where it took a leak here and I don't really know what it is, but they're checking her out. A little bit old. Fresh, but... You talking about me or no. this? No. Okay. <laughs> more hours. More hours. <laughs> Two bulls. Two bulls? Yeah, one truck is not big. This one. Mm -hmm. The other one is decent. Decent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a water hole here. You just check around if there's any activities. Still, it's already late now, you know, the sun is up. Oh yeah, it's not much moving. Yeah, not much moving. So we check around the water hole here and then maybe we look for a spot later we can have lunch. Thank you. Ooh, that sucker's hot. <laughs> this is day two of uh, my safari and with my PH Paul here. We're uh, going out to see if we can see a reed buck or a heart of beast or maybe run into a buffalo. Hell, anything I can shoot. Yeah. But uh, we're, uh, we're, we're ready. Yeah, I hope it'll be a nice day. And I'm doing this, I got this skin so soft shit all over me. <laughs> but there are a few sets of flies, huh? Yeah. Since you got here. If nothing else, by God, I smell good. <laughs> yeah, let's see. 
how the day will be. I know. Yeah. Already I've had a couple of bubbles. But, yeah. Oh. yeah, normally uh, in the dry season here we burn the grass so we can get the new grass coming out and also it'll be easy to see the animals because if the grass is tall uh, you cannot see even the water when it goes into the grass. So we burn the grass so we can see the animals. And then uh, we're driving this morning over here, so we found this tree falling down. Uh, caught fire, I think, last night. So we're going to remove it and get the car passed. <laughs> Water hole here, so we're gonna just walk around here and see if you can see any signs of buffalo or antelopes so we can make a plant. Babies and females. Okay, uh, we had a long day, nice day. We saw a lot of animals, zebra, hartebeest, impala, wildebeest. And uh, at the end of the day here, we come across uh, two hartebeest bulls. But uh, the one was small and the other one was in front. We couldn't see, so they took off. So it's the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it was good. I wish we'd have seen a few less animals, them damn zebras and impala and wildebeest spooked that one bunch yeah. up pretty good. Oh, wasn't. I lucky. did spot these here too. Took me a while to get them onto them, but they could. <laughs> <laughs> Another day tomorrow. Day three today. Stay day break light. Uh, we're heading out now for hartebeest, buffalo and other small things. Hope the day will be good. Oh, cameraman's here already? <laughs> <laughs> I must be running late. <laughs> We're giving them just a little bit to settle down, then we're going after Huh? Go back with the procedure. Huh? 
I was just squeezing the trigger. I know. <laughs> This tree yesterday was standing up, burning, and uh, they cut a bunch of branches off so we could get around it. And I said at that time, I said, I hope when that falls, it falls right. Well, it almost did. Didn't quite. It's a big tree, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in a couple of days. We were just talking. He wanted to know if I got an animal, if they can uh, blood it through the neck to for the Muslim customs, and I said, sure. So I hope we get to put that practice in use before very long. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen, yeah. Well, way up there, probably about four or 500 yards, spotted a couple wildebeest and some kungoni, hardebeest. It looked like there was a good bull in the bunch, too, too far to tell how good, but. I'm not too excited. This is stock number 14, but we're going to give her a try. <laughs> but they haven't seen us. The bad thing's got them wildebeest with it. You know, it could spook everything. And the wind's not good. But other than that, it's perfect. <laughs> Facing you, you see he's facing you. He's facing me. Yeah. Oh yeah. That sounded like it hit something. Yep.
hell, I didn't know what he had spotted. I didn't know what was going after at first. And then I spotted it through there. I think there were three of them. And uh, I was probably, what, 150 yards maybe? Probably, yeah. Uh, looking right at us at a little bit of an angle. And I give him a pretty good one, but I had to give him one more to make sure. And uh, uh, everything's been good. And as my famous thing to say, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, he's working on the kidneys right now. He's got the, I don't know what the, it's in that uh, the tube thing there, but not much goes to waste here. They use everything up. That's We've a, got a fire going. We're gonna grill a few little steaks and hard telling what else and have a feast here. He's, he's cutting the kidneys now. He's gonna use the, the intestine, the rectum. Stuff some kidney, pieces of kidney, liver, and pieces of meat and he's making like a sausage and then they're going to grill a little bit of salt yeah, and grill it yeah. I'd rather have a piece of tenderloin <laughs> yeah, tenderloin is for you yeah. it's going to be on the side okay. Good. Morning, Greg. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. Good. Uh, this is a uh, Utunge camp. It's early morning today. Uh, we woke up and we're trying to look for some small stuff, a bush park, impala, and we're going to check for a place where we can hang a hyena bait. So yep. I think it's going to be a, a good day also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I finally got my uh, Lichtenstein heart of beast yesterday and uh, had a good time doing that and yeah we're gonna saw a big impala last night where it was questionable whether legally it was still time to hunt when there was plenty yeah. but we're gonna go see if we can find it and yeah uh, maybe I'll shoot one of them monster baboons and We'll see what happens. Yeah, see what, what happens today. Yeah, right. We don't know. <laughs> but there isn't any clouds in the sky. It's going to be yeah. a hot son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We drive around uh, this morning looking for impala, zebra, or redbuck, and we see some impalas and zebras. But there was a buck there, but not uh, the size that we want. So we proceed and look for others. About day five, and went through a lot of country. It didn't look like impala country, but we're looking for one, and we're gonna go for a little walk, maybe a bush buck or. A impala or something here there's about 20 hippos out there in that lake i don't want nothing to do with them <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna stay here and have some lunch. They're gonna go out and hang a hyena bait and build a blind, then come back in here, right? Yeah. There. Yeah. We'll go out later. Hunting. I'd get out of the truck till you get out of the way. <laughs> And I'll just pull the chair to the... Oh, man, we are close. <laughs> to this side. Oh, yeah. We go out, we go hunting, look for impala, bushbuck. And then tomorrow, before daylight, we come and sit over here. See if we can get a hyena. Yes. I don't think I ever set this close. I could use a spear. Pretty close to the bait and a good spot. And then get one coming in and I can see it. We should be able to put the old coup de gras on it. <laughs> Just walking here, it's a nice area for Impala. Yesterday we saw a nice one here, so we're gonna try to stalk. Maybe we can see them. Maybe we was just a little too quick. They was just about there. But the problem is they've already seen us from there. So they are yeah. always nervous like that. Yeah, we, we are up this morning and uh, we are going to sit for hyena. It was quiet last night, but uh, maybe they're there. So we don't know. So it's just about a few minutes from camp. And then we wait for daylight and see what will happen. this morning to sit for hyena. The meat seems to be chewed a lot in the night, so normally at this time of the day they're already gone. So within the first light they, they would have been there, but there's no signs. So we'll try again next time. I think the damn cameraman made too much and we scared them all. <laughs> He's too tall. <laughs> Well, we just got in from a hyena hunt and Yako, who owns the outfit, just showed up. So we're switching trucks and going with him and uh, things are up in the air a little bit. But uh, we're uh, going to carry on with, I don't know just all who or doing what, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Well, uh, he's picking up elephant dungs. Uh, he looked for the dry ones, so we can use them for keeping away the chester flies. We have to put them on the back there in a, in a small pot or something, burn them, and the smoke will keep the flies away.
find a spot where you, you can be alone because he's got a lot of females. So when he's by himself, then he can take a shot. Okay. Wait until he stop. Okay, uh, we drove out from camp this morning and uh, we came at this far end of the concession as a place named Serengeti but it's not the actual Serengeti National Park it's the name of this area here in Selu and uh, we came to find uh, this group of impalas with a nice smell in it and then we just got off the truck and uh, followed them for a while and then we did the hunt so uh, he got a nice trophy and uh, we all appreciate We put a good stock on it about three different times yep. and uh, uh, got up there and he was standing behind a couple little trees and actually hit him good. So yeah. now I'm happy with him. He's beautiful. Oh, we just found a nice little spot. Seen a ton of animals, zebras, and palas, wildebeest, I guess a buffalo. And we're gonna have a late lunch. Very late. Isn't it? It's getting towards the end of the day with the rainbow behind us. We're looking for the pot of gold in it. And uh, yeah, we got an impala today. Saw a ton of game here in what they call the little Serengeti. So it's been a good day. And uh, we're just trying to find the road that'll take us back to camp right now. Well, we're gonna wait till just before dawn and walk down to where they had a chunk of meat set up for a hyena and see if one happens to be there at uh, daylight that we can get a crack at. And, and after that, we'll come back here, maybe eat a little something and uh, or take it with us. And I don't know what we're looking for then. <laughs> yeah, we got here to the hyena bait and nothing. Not, not, not one hyena around here. It seems they feed uh, in the night, so 
And then you can see the the guts are hanging there. They haven't fed. They fed on the meat, but uh, still quiet. So we're going out for buffalo, uh, wildebeest, and uh, other stuff like a bush buck or something. It's a fallen tree, but not by itself. You can see the signs here, the elephant dunks. The elephant has been here in the night and he dropped this tree. Two young bulls and females. Do you mean Billy and Dogo? Who is? Well, Greg, here we are, and uh, day eight of your safari, and finally, after all the COVID-19 challenges and <laughs> paperwork and uh, everything else that goes along with it, we uh, got the clearance to go ahead, which was all arranged, but um, just formalities, and the weekend didn't help us. But anyway, so we uh, found some good tracks yesterday. Yeah, lions would be wanting to work, and maybe a couple of leopard in between. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from here and uh, yeah. see what uh, the Saw bush... some nice buff. Yeah, yeah, that too. We've, uh, for seven days, had a full pH. Now we have to break in an apprentice here. And... Yeah, go. <laughs> well, you see, yeah, you just got to you know, work with the spoils sometimes. Yeah, I'll you tell know, you so. what, he's a hell of a driver. <laughs> Mario Andretti. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If he... If he guides like he drives, man. <laughs> well, we'll, give it a in. we'll give it a shot. <laughs> yep. Also, good luck. Yeah. Yeah, we checked this out. Usually it's a real good spot, but this is a very abnormal year. There's water in too many places later in the year they'll have to come here you know it concentrates the game it's not very concentrated right now way too much water so we're uh, gonna go onward right, so we're just gonna light this up so we uh can get rid of our friends the sexy flies here in the back of the truck. Uh, I guess the, the smoke um, reminds them of uh, the normal fires we make out here that typically chases them off. So yeah, that, uh, that helps a lot.
the white chevron between the trees there. You just look through this gap with the white chevron right there at the back. I see one looking at us. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. There's one to his left, to the right as we look at it. That's not the one, the one, the third one is to the left. I can't see it, okay? Let's come here. Standing, you see the brown spot with the white chevron right through this little hole. Oh, yeah, I see way out there. Oh, he's looking at us. I can't see him. Okay, don't worry, he's looking at us. Here up, that sounded like it. We dropped the Nyasa wildebeest, it's right behind Martin there, and uh, we were getting ready to take care of it. 
and this grass fire is coming towards us. They're trying to put it out. So uh, we got some time to take care of things. Uh, it's uh, blow, the wind's blowing right towards here. So yeah, the whole crew is trying to put the fire out. So, uh, hopefully they have luck or we might just have a bry right here. <laughs> Well, Greg, here we are in the beginning of the second week of your safari, and uh, we got ourselves a real beautiful Nyasa wildebeest here, very specific to the Salu, southern part of the Salu, southern part of Tanzania, and the northern part of Mozambique. Just beautiful animals, very sought after species, and uh, this one gave us a little bit of a workout, but uh, that's uh, very often also asked for. Just can't always have it easy. But uh, we're thankful it all worked out well. Beautiful old bull, got the right horn of his, but worked off. Um, but that just all adds up to the character. Yes. Well done, my friend. You did a great job. If the damn things would cooperate, what was we about 20 minutes on that tree? That's right. Yeah. Over here, over right. there, yeah. and then never come yeah. back. And yeah, you put uh, put me on to it, and. My first shot I didn't shoot good, then we came into here and, and found him quick and uh, and put him down. So yeah. I'm real happy with it and we got some bait and uh, I don't think I'm done. That was round one with these babies. <laughs> so. No, absolutely. No, like I say, you know, that's, um, they're always hard to hunt, they're always tough customers <coughs> to deal with. Give you a good run for your money and um, you also have to work the catch, you know, end of the day. That's, that's what pays for conservation and uh, this is just all method to the madness. So. Yep. Well done. Great stuff. Thanks. You're welcome. Yep. This is going to be Martin's wall hanger in his new house. He's going to have a new on the wall. <laughs> a beautiful one with gold and grays and blues and blacks and all kinds of things. They're catching the blood in the bottle for uh, leopard and lion for the scent. Probably put it around the tree and Maybe even mix a little in with the drag stuff or something, but mostly it's for around the tree, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So around the tree, and yeah. we keep a little bit left over. And so we have to, when we go to the blind, we have to gargle with it so they won't smell us when we. Yeah, well, and then there's a little bit left over at the end when we're done, you know, then we'll just have a, a toast. A toast, yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's got age, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> On our way back to camp, end of day eight, um, just driving here past a popular bait tree of ours. We've been lucky to have taken two very good leopard in this tree before. Um, anyway, so the guys, other vehicle that's been hunting just dropped a bait here and uh, it's lying on the ground. So we're just going to put it to use. Um, it's got some uh, good smell to it. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to drag it down the road and hopefully we'll uh, pick up some cat activity when we pass by again. So yeah. Paul's leaving today. Uh, it was kind of a screwed up year, I guess, with COVID. And he uh, was a pinch hitter, come up and uh, helped out and did a fine job. And now he's heading uh, back to Arusha today. So be the last word around him. And uh, he's been a good companion and a good guide and uh, uh, we'll miss him. So, uh, hey. Yeah, it's been Have nice uh, to be with you. Uh, we had a good time together. Yes. And I hope to see you next time. Yeah, uh, you're most welcome. All right. And well, have a good you. trip to Masai Land. Thanks. Wish you all the best. Yeah, nice right. to be with you again. Thank all you very much. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we take all the meat for lion and leopard. Three bait I have in the car here.
Just in case you boys and girls wondered, we're not baiting giraffe over here. It might look like it, but uh, the whole intention of hanging the bait high, first of all, a big male lion, you know, would have no problem reaching it. Of course, he'll be jumping as well. And then his body weight on it will stretch the, the, the rope as well and pull it down. And uh, same with a leopard, you can jump up there, you can work it from the top. And most important of all, we keep it out of reach of the hyenas. So, yeah, when a, a leopard when, could come down and put his feet right on it and do a bunch of chewing. Yeah, from absolutely, the, from the, the top, side. from the bottom. Yeah. And a big, big cat as well will jump from the bottom and hang on it and, and chew on it, you know. So, and in the meanwhile, we'll keep the hyenas occupied and, uh, and hopefully create some interest for whoever is in the surrounding area. But, uh, this is one of our favorite spots down here. Um, oh, you know, I'd love to shoot it here and say, hey Tim, you know where you had that bait? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, it just might work out that way, you know, it's you a matter of... But the big, big lines have been roaming around here, the tracks have been seen. Um, as we know in the previous safari, a big male um, leopard has also been on the bait. Um, and we know this cat, only last year we, we had a hard time with him, uh, but then we get occupied somewhere else, you know. But since we know he's in the area and given the circumstances with um, all the game being so spread out and the water and everything else, it obviously makes it a bit harder for the predators as you had said earlier, Greg. So, I, yeah, I want to believe that we're in here for a good chance. So. Yeah. Let's give her a whirl. Say, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> yeah, I end up married last time I said that. <laughs> <laughs> the leaves pretty much protect it um, against sun and wind to dry out to a certain degree, of course. Um, and then, of course, also um, vultures seeing it. And then um, on the back end of that, you have, uh, once the leaves dry out and you actually get a cat in the tree, once you start messing with it, it gets your attention. So just in case you take a quick cat nap in the, in the blind. So, so we've got it all figured out. This is day 10. We're uh, heading out to maybe shoot a buffalo and something else for some bait. We put up three baits yesterday. Thomas drove us all through the reeds yesterday and, and uh, he's a jack all trades. Fixes the tires, keeps things running and yeah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, we will catch buffalo today. We will catch buffalo today? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> We just uh, gonna walk over here at the back. There's a couple of ponds. There's, uh, there's a lot of water everywhere, but um, it's a nice little area where Tucker will sometimes like to feed and hang out. So maybe we bump into something and we'll uh, let's give it a shot. We ain't lying there. You said there's water everywhere. Look behind you. Look <laughs> at the road. I know. Reload, reload, shoot again. Lower. Okay, you got him. Reload, reload, reload. Good shot. I get him? Yes, it's good. Perfect. Bleeding through the heart. Awesome. And this one here, he was walking. Well, I guess it worked, it stopped him. <laughs> well, you know, it's sometimes opportunities are marginal, but. Well executed, great stuff. This East African Great Akuru. I hope it's got horns. I trusted you. I wasn't even looking. That's a much sought after animal. And this is one of those ones, you know, with those tips curling over. This just, you don't even have to look further. Great stuff. I was getting a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's a get your gun, get your gun, you know. Stop fiddle farting.
Well, Greg, today the hunting gods have been smiling upon us, or should I just say God have been smiling upon us. This is um, truly one of the most beautiful animals in Africa and the East African Greater Kudu uh, that we have here today is uh, a very, very sought after species. I always say that um, since the Kudu is known as a great ghost of Africa, uh, the East African Greater Kudu just gives new meaning to that. You know, they, they're just really sneaky. Um, typically very hard to hunt but today we came across this beautiful bull all by himself and you know things just worked out and it's like the old saying goes every day is a hunting day not every day is a shooting day but today it was a shooting day yeah we were going along going up to where we're gonna hopefully see some buffalo and spotted this and jumped off the truck and uh, I went a hundred yards or so and then we uh, got down to it and Things worked out good, and it's a beautiful animal. Uh, I love how dark its horns are, and it, it's a good size animal. Right. So no, I'm it's happy. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, and it's just like you know, you never know when you're out here hunting free range areas, you know, what's going to come your way. You, you work towards a certain goal, but inevitably something else is going to come, come up and, and cross your path, and uh, we couldn't have asked for anything better. It's something this specific. Sp uh, species something I really wanted for you and I'm glad we got a really really old bull and worked out just just yeah, fine. He is an old boy and I'm I'm proud of him and I'm I'm glad that's the one to take an old solitary bull. So Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot. Hunting paid yeah, again for conservation. Well done. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we just stopped where the uh, road grader's been setting since way before I got here, 10 days. I know it's been here that long. And these other guys are the crew that cut brush alongside and that. The wheel's back on it, so maybe they're making a little progress. But, I don't know. Yes, man. I'm Samson. I'm Greg. Okay. We have brought a meat to us. This is a meat from Mr. Kudu. Yep. So today in the after in the afternoon we have eaten yugari, if you see, by using small fish. But uh, we thank you because we have brought this meat. So in the evening we're going to cook this. This is the rice, we're going to eat it. Meat as well as the rice. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we uh, stopped here to help see how progress was going on the fly camp. When we left, we got all a couple mile away and run into this uh, kudu and uh, uh, got him. And we brought him back to the fly camp where they're going to cape it out, salt it, and get it ready. And then we're going to have lunch and uh, see if we can go get a buffalo. Adios, cameraman. <laughs> This right over here is the mess, the kitchen is there at the back. So flying tent's gonna be right over there. I'm over there. And uh outhouse is over there. Oh I thought that was for Martin. <laughs> well, I mean, but that's outhouse. <laughs> we'll sleep right next to it. <laughs> I can just see his head sticking out of that. It's, it's, hole there. it's a pretty good situation for hyena bait as well. <laughs> That must be yours. <laughs> we are over to the southwest at a fly camp where we're gonna, I think tomorrow, for some reason only spend two days and then go back to camp, but it's a lot closer to over to where I guess there's some buffalo and things so it isn't so far to ride from camp. And I guess we'll see. Ok, 
Okay, we uh, got that kudu earlier this afternoon and we've got a good chunk of it here. Uh, we saw uh, quite a bit of lion and uh, buffalo sign down in the river bottom here and we got on two Dagaboys, but I only knew of one and he said there, that one on the left and I was just getting them in the scope and another one appeared. So instead of doing what he told me, I said, which one? He said, the left one. Well, then it wheeled and was trotting away from me. I got my ass peeled for it, so I know better now. And uh, so we're gonna hang a leopard bait right now. And then uh, he'll probably make me, make me sit down on the floor in the bed there on the way back to camp. So, but hey, it was fun and tomorrow's another day. We are at day 11, um, getting ready to See if we can find some more bait this morning, hunting lions and leopards and then uh, heading off to the, the secondary camp as I like to refer to it rather as a fly camp and uh, work the western part of the, of the area. Got some good things going, a few good baits out, um, a lot of dagger boy movement so uh, we're excited to, to get going and uh, make things happen and uh, well, finally yes Mr. Morris as well. Welcome sir, we're I mean, finally ready to go and hunt and Make something out of the day? Well, you kind of set the precedent. I didn't figure till about nine you'd be ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're delighted to see Mr. Morris this morning. You're uh, making it sound like this is my first appearance. <laughs> <laughs> See, bro. Uh, I guess we're on one for some succulent bait, and uh, gonna go see if what we can do. Something's wrong. One shot? Hey, you know, it's all coming together. Corona, you. Corona. What Corona? No Corona. Day, the day is still young, and I yeah. think um, endless opportunities, and that's. That's what's so great about hunting in these free-range areas, you know, it's like you just never know what's up next, you know, some days it works out, and I guess most of the days it don't work out, but, you yeah. know, that's what, it, that's what they call it hunting. You know, and it, uh, no, it made a good stock on it, and uh, had uh, a nice zebra, and we've got some good bait. They really like the fatty zebra meat. If you can get a cat on that, they'll be there until it's finished, if you can get them on it. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to do a little cycle around and then uh, take our stuff to the fly camp and head to our honey hole. Well, it sounds like a plan. All right, man, let's do it. Job well done.
something ate a little bit there and the fact of the matter is I don't think it's a leopard because I could have jumped and I've seen claw marks hanging onto the bait. Yep. And um, if it was a hinas, then this leaves in the bottom here would have all been messed up and pushed aside. So and uh, Uh, we'll see if we can find tracks and see what's going on, but it's looking positive. Yeah. We're going to have a good day. We'll take uh, them Just probably peed and scratching, no, no, but marking the territory. Good. Many. I hope it's as cold. We're going to add that half of the zebra on top. So if he comes back and he finishes it, because I think, you know, it's, it's not very high that meat for, for male. Then um, <clears throat> at least Might keep we'll, we'll see there's more meat around in you know, I definitely would not call this a fly camp. It's lacking very few amenities of uh, where we stayed over in the other one, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, it's a great place. Uh, anybody ought to like being in it and uh, we got that zebra just in case one of the baits needed replenished and uh, found a big lion track and he'd ate some of our bait and kind of marked the territory for himself so we're kind of you know got uh, some hope up for what happens uh, during the night and Hopefully he eats enough where he's just got to lay down for a little while. <laughs> Good morning. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning here. We're going uh, to see if a lion came back and uh, hit the bait. And hopefully he's even still right there around the tree laying down. Uh, uh, so we're hoping to go into battle with him this morning. But we'll see what happens. here for a little bit till he feels hungry again and come in and just keep this fresh so we'll just keep on fresh work, keep on working the area yeah, I think we were here for two days zebra three days you know so and uh, once you get started <clears throat> I'm sure we'll have a ball game well it seems like from the looks of his belly he's well fed and uh, now I'm going to put a little camouflage around it. It's good because you can see where he's been laying and uh, he was in here for 45 minutes an hour and uh, so that's good. He might be just saving it till he gets hungry or don't want nobody else to have it.
element of surprise might have just worked against us there yeah he, he wasn't charging i don't think he just he wasn't charging but but the, the thing is our way. we're in this space you know if he came around he would have come for us you know yeah. you know hunting lions the lions leopards elephants you know they're the stuff that really pays um, for conservation and protection of these wild areas and this is just method to the madness so yeah we like all we we'll take the great old bulls which we can't find but this is one of them you know and it serves a purpose so yeah job well done my friend well done okay i think i hit him good with that first one Very well done, Greg. Great stuff. Great stuff. And come with some funny stuff. I just saw the back leg still moving. Right in the heart. But I mean, if you take, if you, if you divide the body, you know, ideally, I always tell people, you know, we want to divide the body into thirds. So, but you don't have time. So that's one third, that's another third. So you take half and just go. And uh, we got, we came around here, and we had a relatively was it 35, 40 yard shot. Yeah. And uh, we were hoping for him to make a. Well, I was hoping for him to make a left turn, but uh, any turn, just not made, straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, and he made that rather kind of angle towards us. So got a little bit exciting there for a little while, but uh, it turned out well. And yeah, your shot was good. Uh, he was going to die. We were just in close proximity, so we had a. You know, just make sure we, we take care of business, so job well done. Well, we gave him another one right between the eyes, and he went up and jabbed him in the eye, no response, so we're standing there talking about what wonderful things we did, and he tried getting back up. <laughs> we jumped back, and Yako says, 
you gonna give him another one or you want me to? And bang, I would give him another one in the head. And yeah. Evidently that did it, but they're right between the eyes. It, that certainly did do it, but you know, but there was still another twitch of the back leg here yeah. at one point in time and stuff, you know, so. And that's what they're famous for, the, the K buffalo. As, as the old saying goes, the old cliche goes, it's the dead ones that'll kill you. Yeah. I have to be careful. Well, job well done, Craig. All right, well thanks. Done. Yeah, we're just going through the paperwork. We don't always have time to do it immediately, but otherwise we try to stay on top of it. And once animal goes down, we uh, fulfill the legal formalities and uh, make sure we stay ahead of the crowd. Checking for uh, leopard and lion sign, and uh, uh, about an hour and a half, two hours left in the day, and uh, we're uh, going to check a couple of our baits that are dual leopard uh, lion baits, and uh, that, and uh, just see how it goes. So, yeah, this is a middle finger termite mound here. <laughs> for all you folks back home. That's what I think of you. I got race day, you a little longer. I got 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 a all over world do? Yeah, but the the didn't eat too bad, so and it's zebra meat. So hopefully we'll uh, have another ball game starting here soon. Let's just go finish our other ball game. That's a nice track. We had a bigger one on the southeastern side, but just slightly. This is very much there. Yeah, this is the 13th morning. Uh, we've had a lot of lion activity up ahead on one bait. Isn't really feeding a lot yet, but it's there all the time. Hope it gets comfortable. Uh, we've got another bait here. I don't know really what's happened with it. Uh, we've got all the stuff on here for building a blind to get them used to it before we set. And uh, yeah, we're just. Uh, maybe run into another buffalo, the way they're going through bait. So, we'll see what happens. Want uh, some? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! A little mm. breakfast sandwich. Bitch. Mm. <laughs> Such a noise. Turned that side profile just now. 
Yeah, the little branch right there, the leopard couldn't really see it properly. It all looks good, I just want to confirm. Just put your rifle through here. Through there. Yes. Just get him in the scope. He's not in a position. shoulder. It's up. Come, come. <laughs> shoot him again, shoot him again. Ah, oh, making beer. Making beer. Did I hit him good? <laughs> huh? I think I'm doing good. Okay, he's done. He's done? Yeah, down, yeah. Yeah! Just hang on. I'm not saying he's dead, I'm just saying he's down. I was waiting for you there in the. Huh? And I, said, I was waiting for you there in the follow up shot, but then the body is getting away. And, and uh, But I shot too late. Because there's a little ridge there, and I shot into the ridge as he went into the, over it. Well, job well done. Oh, Great okay. stuff. You know, I know there's a lot of nerves building up as you're standing there and, you know, waiting for the moment. And obviously, given all the conservation efforts and everything else that's going on in the world, we've got to do the right thing and figuring out and making sure of the age. Congratulations. I heard a whistle and I, I looked around. Come on, come on! Come on, Greg, day 13 of your 
safari here in the Salu Game Reserve, Tanzania. And uh, three or four days ago, we picked up tracks in the same creek down here and we started to work uh, the lion down here. It was a really impressive track that we found. There was several tracks. There was a pride further down this way. And then once we got up here, we got onto those two dagger boys by themselves. And uh, while messing around with that, we picked this guy's truck track up and um, you know it's like three days later now um, we've seen him on the camera yesterday we got excited about him looked real good but as always we uh, you know we'd like to see them in person <laughs> so it's, I think it's about nine o'clock or just after nine mm -hmm. when we stopped here um, the road's just you know a few hundred yards up here and the guys came walking down and and he was lying down right behind us and um, he spotted the guys, of course, he heard them and he ran over there in the brush here to the left and um, he was just hiding there, you know, obviously he was keen on the buffalo meat and um, from there on we just had to to figure out whether uh, he's a shooter or not and I think um, given the size and everything else, you know, we wanted to see that, that lower lip sagging, um, we confirmed and uh, you made it count, job well yeah. done. Yep. And, uh it kind of took me by surprise. I was up there, he just handed me a breakfast sandwich. I got the plastic off from it and started to take a bite. And they all started getting excited and I thought it just meant that it had ate on the bait. Right. And then Yaku goes, he is here. And I go, oh boy. So, and then uh, the most nerve wracking thing, we must have watched him for about a half hour from a few different spots and uh, trying to judge his age, make sure he was an old lion. And uh, he started making a few lion woofs and it, you know, ran right up to the edge like and let out a little roar and and then uh, then it turned sideways and I gave him one, went about a hundred yards and uh, here it is and great job all the way around. Job well done Greg, excellent right. job. It worked out great for us today. That's all I got to say about that. What they're doing now is taking measurements for uh, technical, scientific, and uh, legal data on the lion that's killed so they can keep track of it and, you know, what's being killed and, and uh, the measurements of it. Uh, so it's uh, pretty involved with uh, all the different measurements they'll take. Tatu. Tano hii, mm -hmm. sita. Hini nyingine natoka, mm -hmm. alagini sita. Mm -hmm. Saba, nani? Kama saba na nusu. What was that all about? So, I don't know, maybe you wanna, are you recording? Because, and this is something that I'm testing with all the lions that we hunt. But the Maasai, they judge the age, or count the age of a lion by the number of lobes in the liver. Like any other animal, only got two, but you see now we've counted seven. And practically, that's a half one coming out there, so seven and a half. Oh, and that's about what you said. You know, so you said between seven, maybe eight. And the thing is, um, but there's no, this is not, it's not official. Yes. Yeah. You know, no scientific data on that, but I'm checking it and I'm talking to people because it might be worth the study, you know. Well, so. it's quite a coincidence. You go seven, maybe eight, yeah. count them at seven and a half. That's <laughs> Oh, I 
Take a lot of toilet paper to around there. Yeah. I think I'm
Congratulations. Thank you. As I say in Africa, uh -huh. just not getting any better. Yes. A good day to you. Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Great day in the bush. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. 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 Let me check it. Come on. Make sure. Hey, she falls slow no, in there. No, don't shoot. Okay. <laughs> Find a mail. Let me shoot a mail. Okay. You see one in the front? Yeah. White head. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Very, very, very good side. With the white? White head. White head. Yeah. One, one in the front. Yeah. White head. Yeah. yeah. You see? The one is looking this side. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Good side. Boom! Down. <laughs> 
This is day 14 of our safari. Last night we had, a, well, I had two great parties, but a big one here for uh, getting the lion yesterday. Everybody had a good time, and we're going to go out and uh, uh, check some baits and maybe shoot a buffalo today. And uh, yeah, but it looks like it's going to be a hot one. Better late than never. <laughs> Six fifteen, count on the teetsies this morning, and we're checking a few baits and then going to see if there's a buffalo wandering around. Adios. Eating well. So the whole rope cage gone on one side and the leg and everything else. No left left. We'll uh, just get a camera up here but I think um, fresh meat would uh, if we can lay our hands on some it'll be a good thing. When you get it comes up more in the front, it loops better. You know. There's not one of those that just don't kind of straight back. I'm to call it chips and the chicken and salad. We have to mix it. Looks damn good. Thank you. Thank you. Day 16, halfway through my hunt. I think five days left here in uh, the Salu, and then we're heading to Maasai land. Right now we've been, I kind of messed up a little bit on uh, two big buffalo bulls here. Uh, didn't get a shot. And uh, we're gonna walk along the river here and see if we can uh, find them. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we started out from the truck about three miles ago. We're looking for buffalo, walked up the ridges, and now we're kind of circling back, and uh, hopefully we'll run into one. That's what we're doing. This is Greg's? We just called it Greg's Water Hole. <laughs> so, Never seen it before. Huh? No, it's the first time we come down here. So, in Swahili, water hole is a buawa, so. A what? Buawa. Buawa? Bua, buawa. Buawa. Yeah, so buawa la grec. Grec's water hole. Sounds like an ice cream treat. <laughs> you know, we just need ice. <laughs> yeah, we just ended a five mile hike looking for some buffalo. Went up some big hills and circled around and came back down on day 16. I think we're going to check some leopard baits now and uh, see what happens. Hell, we might see something on the way out of here. OK, 
Okay, this is day 17. We're going out to look for a reed buck, buffalo, uh, maybe a zebra for bait. Uh, and then we're going to check a bait that a big leopard's hit, uh, hopefully still around. And uh, right now it's raining some, but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll clear up in just a little bit. And our main tracker here, Lumen, is checking the weather, watching the raindrops fall. We're ready to go. Sunday. Ah, cool. That's me. We just leave. Like, we're not going to find you so. Find you so. Lumen's uh, racing attire. Lumen, get in. We're ready to go. <laughs> Two standing here, I thought there was one, the one was already watching us. Greg, we're um, camera didn't really give us much to work with. Um, the general information that I can gather is that the big male wasn't here. Uh, we saw a smaller truck down there at the back yesterday, which um, resembled a, a cup as well. Um, so putting all the loose ends together, and given how much was eaten. I um, want to venture to say, unless we can find the big tracks around right now, that it is probably just the female in the cup. Okay, they're getting uh, uh, these tree branches and uh, uh, palm fronds to uh, camouflage the blind up. Uh, we're getting it ready. He didn't come back in last night. A couple other leopards did, so we're gonna. Uh, get the blind already, and I, I'm not sure if we're setting tonight or not. I think we are, but we'll see what happens. And it's hot, <laughs> muggy. Yeah. That's it.
Day 18 of my hunt. We have four more days here. We're going out this morning to uh, try to get a bait animal, probably a zebra if we can, if not a wildebeest or something. Always looking up for buffalo and uh, yeah, it's uh, been a good trip and let's see what happens today. He's a shitty one, but I say he's a shitty one. But the question is, we're gonna regret it. We don't take that one, the opportunity to get bait. What? The question is, are we gonna regret the opportunity not taking the bait? Sounded good, and apparently it is pretty good. He's struggling. It's actually a little bit better in the spread than what I thought when I saw him through the brush, you know. So, good stuff. Well done. Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Greg, it's a good start to the morning, my man. Yeah. We had a bit of a dry spell here, yeah, but uh, it was actually down where it should have been. Found this old bull by himself, just with the the hunting guards ordered. Yeah. Great stuff. And right where I am. Good shot, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> well, Greg, yeah, we needed bait, we needed more meat. We got a wildebeest this morning and um, we're right back at the bait where we sat last night. And uh, female has been here again. Um, we're not quite sure, well, Evidence that we've got on the camera is that there's total separate times with a big male that roams around. Um, he's got quite a big territory and we hopefully it's going to be back. We're we'll, uh, going to put fresh meat up here, readjust the current meat we've got up here and uh, see if we can keep things going. In the meantime, we'll uh, go to Amoeba Camp and uh, also check the cat on that side and see what's going on. Let's see what happens. Yep. I needed you to see over the grass. Fuck! <laughs> I couldn't see in my scope. <laughs> well, you did an amazing I, job. I was like that, didn't you see me? <laughs> I was trying to put it down, but then it looked, it looked like you had it. So I said, shit, man. I bet Woo! you. You, you, you'll have a hard time finding one like, like that in Namibia for starters. Oh shit, I've shot a lot of warthog and that's the biggest yeah. one. It's just Definitely. one of those things, you know. The little Maasai was just like, 
Water, water, can you you started to react and it's like get your gun, get your gun. It's like shit. <laughs> Both arms were gone. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know we have a ballerina with us. You know, it's actually doing pretty good. The, the pita, you know? I go. I go. I can't see in my skull. Almost, it almost looked like tapstick. <laughs> Greg, long overdue. First, yeah. first, first day in what's it now? 16, 17 days. Yeah, that we, that we, actually getting a twofer, and uh, you know, got a nice old wildebeest bull this morning, and uh, this hawk came away. You know, Bruce was smiling upon us. Yes, it did. Job well done, sir. It's, yeah, um, it was moved fast. Yeah, you know, every once in a while they make a mistake as well. These big ones are normally hard to catch, you know, when he was already on the run. And today we got lucky. He, he made a stop and uh, he was, I guess, uh, just a little bit uh, wondering whether they should cross the road or not here in front of us. And he made the mistake and uh -huh. we got the shot. I definitely was able to see over the grass. <laughs> well, I tell you, I think we've learned something. Yeah. You know, we, we, we know now you can tip your toe. <laughs> Job well done. No, thanks. Tuko tuna tembea pole pole, marangiri kaji changanya, katokea barabarani, mdogo mdogo, mzeka muona vizuri, risasi moja, chini ya puwapo pembeni ya barabara, kila kitu kiko safi, ngiri mkubwa, akupendeza, safi kabisa. Asante babu. Asante babu. Ndelea kuma saiwe. Eh, kia uruwa riba, rakishu wa kwa ngambi, ne, ne buku, itibiri la lele, tekedia, ne, ne kuwa uruwa mbala barabara, ne do babu, Day 19, uh, we just put this bait up. Uh, late yesterday afternoon and already uh, two leopards and a lion have been uh, in on it and uh, when we got here you could hear the lion back there wasn't too happy we were here and uh, gonna just for right now change the bait for the leopard a little bit and check a couple other baits before we commit the hog to maybe this one but yeah we've got uh, what three days left and See what happens. Just got the blind already. Got the gun set up and everything. We're hoping a leopard will come in before dark and it's big enough. Uh, but uh, everything looks good. Great branch. Everything's set up. So see what happens. Yep, we uh, sat for, oh, two and a half hours. Uh, nothing came in, at least that I know of. And uh, I'm having a safari on safari here, as you can see. So, nope, we're heading back and uh, regroup. But it's getting bad because we almost got a full moon. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is the uh, morning of the 20th day. We're going to set in a leopard blind and see if one comes in around daylight and then we're gonna go buffalo hunting. So we just have one more day to go and then heading to Maasai land, yes. <laughs>
shot. Ready? Yes, can you see the shoulder? Yeah. Okay. Chini. Okay. Is that one okay? Maybe Boston stuff, and it's less like litter rip. <laughs> Can you see him? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I wasn't going to waste time this time <clears throat> and get my ass chewed out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that didn't happen too often. I'm just no, looking, no, it hasn't. I'm just looking for another one. And it was really, Morris, don't go walking in the river. <laughs> it was just really nice chewing. <laughs> it was just a, a friendly directive. <laughs> yeah, she was in a okay. kind of stern voice. <laughs> <laughs> The problem with the solid right there that if he gets up, I'm running to the left. I know he can't see out of that eye. <laughs> What's that? Got her. Well. A certain amount of safety, I think we're right. <laughs> Let's try again. Well Look done. at them bosses. Yeah, no, he's, he's... He's an old boy. Good white bosses. Been around sitting out here in the woods in a very remote spot. And uh, like I said earlier, I thought um, when he ran up here, he's running up a bit of a limp. So uh, that might have already caused some reason to for that survival instinct to kick in with him. So, um, good job, well done. Great stuff, great old bull. We came what we're looking for. We, we, we got came, him. We got what we came to look for. Yeah. Look at the scars on the old warrior. Man. Look at that baby. Look at them bosses. He's an old warrior. Well, we were driving up the road. It just drove past where I'd shot a lion. Uh, hell, it's been about a week ago now. But uh, when uh, Thomas here on the end spotted this old dagger boy uh, down in the riverbed and uh, uh, Yako and Lumen and them went down and saw him on the far bank and we started tracking and they had to build a hell of a road into here. We're back out in the pucker brush here. Uh, but uh, put him down and he didn't want to stay down but ends up that way. But good job, Yako. Well, Greg, same to you. Job well done. Good job, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas got a quick glimpse of him down there, and uh, the single bulls are not the easiest to follow, especially once they start walking. And he got into this thick brush and a lot of cover down on the ground and leaves and stuff. And uh, but we were we got lucky this time. We bumped him and had to take quick action. And again, yeah, well done. Yeah, look what we're shooting through down there. All right, yeah. that big tree. We were down. Well, right. Maybe it's that yeah. one, 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 but anyhow, down there, and I, holy shit, I couldn't even see yeah. him standing up yeah. here. Often, you know, you're just allowed to figure out the silhouette and figure out which end is the right end. <laughs> it ain't a wildebeest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. You said it. Yeah. <laughs> Job well done. Thanks. All right. I'm happy with him. He's an old warrior. He figures he's about 12 years old anyhow, and uh, that's the ones to take. One that, if he isn't on the downhill thing he would have been real soon so and he's got scars all over him and uh he's a dandy and i'm proud of him there
cut, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just took my beer goggles off. Uh, uh, this is a different vehicle. It's a recovery one. They cut a trail clear up into where I killed a buffalo and uh, having a little bit of trouble getting it out of the river bottom, but looks like they got her dicked now, so we'll uh, go from there. Cut. Beach. <laughs> Well, we're going to go look for a reed buck, check a few leopard baits, and it's day 21 of a 21-day hunt here. So tomorrow morning at 9.30, we're flying up to Maasai Land to start a new adventure. But other than that, it's cut, bitch. <laughs> our last day of the hunt and we're going around we're dropping some of the baits that uh, weren't productive and to put everything back to a natural state and square one and uh, we'll just uh, and just enjoying the scenery just saw four young zebra and watched them for a while and might kill a big old ugly baboon but uh, other than that we're just seeing what we see did it fall down yet? All right, cut bitch. <laughs> Last day of the slew portion of our hunt. There, are you happy? Cut, cunt. <laughs> Simba! 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 Simba!
Good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, did you sleep well? I slept very well. How about you? Oh, fine. Where are you going to the kitchen? Yes, we wanted to come and see this. This is our last day here. Yeah. We're heading to Maasai land and yeah. you did a great job. Uh, both of you on the cooking. Yeah. And uh, yeah, oh, that must be his omelet, huh? <laughs> Make a Spanish omelet. Yeah. <laughs> but no, so this is where they've did all their culinary delights right here. And it's, uh, they do a great job. Oh, look at that, where they cook on, huh. Takes quite a staff to, uh, you don't realize, uh, you know, to make a successful safari from the skinners, trackers, drivers, cooks, uh, camp helpers like Jungo, the, just uh, takes care of me down there, carries my guns down and that, and will help with the luggage, right? Everybody. So, everybody's did a fine job. Come on in, Jungo. Here's my number one guy here. He takes care of me in my tent. If there's any bugs, he zaps them with a spray and carries my stuff and brings it up to the truck and dances a little jig for me and says good night and good morning. And look at this. So, it's. Uh, it's mm -hmm. <laughs> I like a that. good crew. Nixon. Nixon. and Jung. John. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good. And here's the one that at night brings everything out, makes sure everything's running good. And I didn't know, but he's one of the ringleaders when they start having a party. He's right in front. Leading the way. <laughs> okay, <sante>. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And this is what we eat when we're on there. I think this is Eland that's been spiced and they just hang it up there and dry it out and man it's good. It's good stuff. What we have here today we're changing camps to, to Maasai land so we've done with the first part of, of the safari and um, we just called all the guys here together as we're leaving. Greg here was, was very generous and um, I think it's one thing about hunters, you know, they're always very um, alert on what's going on in surroundings and stuff and we have this corona here and uh, Greg was uh, very um, friendly to, to help the guys out and give them some extra gratuities for this year and uh, we're very thankful for that, Greg. Watu, Anomba, ku Mbia Ngeni Asante Sana and ku Sababu Hiyo Gonje Amakau, Ye Najua